so uh, welcome everyone uh, thank you so much for joining us today uh, this is the first meeting that skunkworks is having for the fall semester and the purpose of keeping this meeting is to brief you about what skunkworks is and what is our plan for the fall semester so every semester we do a few things we do a few research projects we just work on a few uh, separate uh, uh, projects we do some workshops some seminars uh, and stuff like that so uh, the plan for every semester is different which is why we uh, and and of course uh, northeastern has a, a, a big intake uh, during this fall of 2021 so it's a great opportunity for all of you who have just joined northeastern to to know about the existing clubs what we do and uh, get involved if if uh, something interests you uh, that we are sharing today so uh, Starting with the vision, so uh, AI Skunk Works started back in 2019 uh, with Professor Nick Brown. So as Professor Nick just mentioned uh, that uh, you learn by doing stuff. So uh, in 2019, he, he started AI Skunk Works with a vision uh, of collaborating with students with, with a vision of making a community where people can collaborate, where students can collaborate with each other and learn by simply by doing things. It's, it's not a, uh, it's, it's not a place where, uh, uh, you know, uh, Professor Nick will be coming and he'll be teaching you again and again. It's a place where you learn by doing stuff. We mentor you, we provide you with a community where, pe so if you're a beginner, if you're in an intermediate level, or if you think that you're an expert in, in uh, a particular thing that we are doing, we, we have a place for all of these categories. So whichever category you fall in, there is something that we are doing, which you can explore and kind of connect with more students who are learning along with with you. So uh, we want to create a platform where students can get these opportunities, collaborate and work on projects related to majorly AI and machine learning. So uh, and, and we, we, we do that by, uh, you know, uh, organizing weekly meetings, we do that by giving hands on workshops, inviting people from uh, every now and then there are people coming in from the industry and talking about, you know, uh, whatever is, is trending, whatever is hot within the industry. So you get a perspective from what is actually being implemented within the industries. And Professor Nick is, of course, uh, as I mentioned, he's the mentor. So at every step, at every project, at every, you know, whenever you're stuck, Professor Nick is always there to mentor you. And, you know, uh, people like me who, who've been here, who've been part of the club for past uh, uh, one and a half years, we are here to help you uh, wherever you're stuck. So, uh, if you're looking to start your career, if you're looking forward to learning more about machine learning and data science, data analytics, data engineering and cloud computing and stuff like that, I think this is a great place to start uh, and kind of explore more because we are a community of more than 800 people at Northeastern who are just working towards achieving this goal. Along with that, uh, uh, I get a question uh, very often times that you know we want to work at AI Skunk Works, uh, we want to do research, we want to work on projects with AI Skunk Works. But whenever I start briefing them about the projects, it's more of like you know uh, how much am I going to be paid for this? So uh, one thing and and a very important thing I would want to mention here is that whatever work we do is is not paid. Uh, it's uh, AI Skunk Works is a student organization. Uh, we do get funding from Northeastern, but it is, uh, but you would not be kind of directly getting paid for the work that you're doing. It's more of collaborating and working uh, 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 by doing things. It, there are no paid opportunities at AI Skunk Works. Going ahead, let me introduce uh, all of you to our team. So uh, Professor Nick is our advisor. Uh, my name is uh, Abhishek Dabas. I am a, a fall 19 student of uh, information systems. Uh, and this is my uh, last semester at Northeastern. So uh, we are trying to do a lot of things uh, uh, this semester. And uh, uh, I've been the president of this club since, since the start of this year. So uh, if you have any questions uh, about the club or about anything related to the club, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, and then uh, Indu uh, is uh, another student from Fall 19. She's also pursuing information system. She's the uh, vice president of the club. 
Then we have uh, Prajwal, who is uh, the VP of Research Technologies, Saklin Kazi, who is the uh, VP of uh, Marketing and Outreach, and Sneha, who is the uh, VP of Student Engagement. We'll be kind of deep diving in all these roles and responsibilities and whom you should reach out to when you have a question related to a particular thing. So uh, this is just introducing the, the core team of AI Skunk Works to all of you. Now, uh, the first question that a lot of you guys might be having uh, when you join this call is like, you know, okay, you know, Skunk Works is a student organization, but what is there uh, in Skunk Works that, that you know, is that, that's going to help me? So uh, first thing is that we recently cr crossed the mark of 800, uh, which is, uh, so we are now one of the largest graduate student organization at North Northeastern University, which I'm really, really proud to say uh, every time. Uh, but along with that, uh, it gives you a platform to learn. So if you're looking, if you're exploring to, to learn more tools, if you're exploring the field of machine learning and data science, there is a lot to learn here. There are a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of things that we keep on working throughout the semester. So uh, I am very sure that, you know, uh, if you're interested in learning, if you're interested in exploring more within the field, uh, then this is the platform for you develop skills with like minds. So we are a community of 800 people, all of which are just focused on working towards uh, getting somewhere, you know, probably it could be a, a very simple goal of uh, getting a job within the industry for which you'll have to work through your way. You have to have some certain skill sets. You have to work your way to getting that job. So if you want to develop those kinds of skill sets, uh, uh, and, and to be very honest with all of you, uh, machine learning and data science, it's, it's a rapidly growing field. And there are a lot of new tools, uh, there are a lot of new skill sets that, that are required by the industry every now and then, which keeps on changing. So you have to keep yourself updated with, you know, what is that, you know, the company is asking for, what is trending within the companies? What are they talking about? What is the... the uh, uh, skill set that, you know, I should be having to uh, grab that job because ultimately, of course, like most of us, uh, uh, I, I can talk about myself, but uh, one of the major goals is that, you know, you want to land up a good job uh, working in the industry. So uh, for which you have to work hard. And you get a, a along with this, you get an opportunity to network with more people. So uh, you connect with people from different universities. So uh, we have Anna on this call, who is a student from Amblian University. So uh, uh, that's one of the universities we, uh, uh, we're still collaborating with. And uh, it's a great opportunity for you guys to kind of build your connection, work with people from different universities, from different companies, and get to, you know, learn from them. Uh, working on all these things, so uh, since 2019, there have been a lot of success stories. Uh, uh, a lot of skunks have achieved a lot of things in the past uh, uh, two years. So uh, some of them have drafted eBooks. Some of them are consistently writing medium articles. There are a lot of papers that have been published uh, published under Professor Nick Brown's guidance, and there are job opportunities as well. So uh, I would want to focus on this job aspect a little bit. So uh, Skunkworks does not provide you with a job, but what we do is we provide you with the opportunities as in every now and then whenever there's a person coming in uh, and, and giving you a hands-on workshop on a particular thing, then every time, uh, uh, at least I can talk from my experience, they are looking for students, they are looking for motivated students who can join their company, who can, who know the particular tools, that could be like, you know, one of the things, but there are every now and then companies do reach out to the club in kind of uh, offering some opportunities, but those opportunities are very specific to, to people who have been consistent with working and showing their progress uh, uh, with the work that we are doing. It's, it's not like, you know, uh, uh, if you you just register for the club you uh, have that chance of kind of grabbing that opportunity you have to show your work you have to consistently work you have to attend the meetings you have to uh, share your thoughts have those discussions be involved in the kind of work that we're doing to get those opportunities 
going ahead uh, so research groups uh, are one of the core things uh, uh, one of the core meetings uh, that we have throughout the semesters so uh, for the fall semester we are having four research groups uh, we have explainable ai we have kaggle we have mlops and we have cloud computing which is in collaboration with red hat uh we'll be going into more details like if you're confused about you know which research group fits you fits your interest uh we'll be talking about all these individually uh, going ahead but these are the four research groups that are uh, going to uh, have their meetings throughout the fall semester and uh, <clears throat> sorry for that uh, uh, so if you're interested and if you're already registered you might be uh, getting the emails for registration link for uh, all these particular groups so first thing if you're not registered on engage for ai skunk works that is the first step that you have to do uh, go to engage search for ai skunk works and register as a member that is the first step that you know uh, you do if you want to become a part of the club <clears throat> apart from the research groups uh, another aspect that we work on is projects so uh, uh, a lot of students uh, have been sharing that you know they do not want to be involved in the weekly meetings all they're looking for is to add a project on their resume they just want to work on a project with more and more people and kind of get that experience so that they can add directly something on their resume so these are a few projects that you can see on the screen that uh, we've been working on uh some of these projects uh, we have uh, already completed some of them are still uh, uh we still one of those that we are working on so uh we work on research groups which is like you know weekly meetings and you can call it more of a study group where you come in you you meet more people and then you kind of uh, uh you uh work towards a particular goal which could be you know uh, writing a medium article or could be uh publishing a paper or could be as simple as just that you want to learn more about a particular topic as simple as that on the project side uh, what you do is you have deadlines you have goals that you have to achieve on a weekly basis it could be like you know we we uh, set up trello boards that you know we we ask uh, weekly updates like you know if if there is a jupiter notebook that has to be constructed then we ask for like where uh, uh, how much of the work has been done and those are like you know Uh, uh not weekly meetings but uh, uh there are hard deadlines for the projects uh now i would uh, like to hand it over to uh, prajwal who can share more about how you can speed up your research with discovery so a lot of you might not know about what discovery is so uh, over to you prajwal thank you abhishek hey guys so here at skunkworks one of the most frequent questions we've been asked is regarding gpus like uh, with everyone interested in uh, working or uh, interested in deep learning and deep learning requires gpus and most of us uh, our laptops don't necessarily su uh, support the computational resources for these like complicated uh, matrix multiplication based projects so we at skunkworks we've got you covered Uh, next slide so what we have here is a high performing computing resource which is the discovery cluster and it is uh, as you can see it is a 90000 square foot 15 megawatt researching facility uh, which means which obviously means that we have plenty of uh, uh, research like uh, gpu nodes to allocate if if on, only if you have a research project of where you're working under as compost and this research this huge facility is being shared shared simultaneously by the five biggest uh, research uh, research heavy universities in and around boston boston area uh, which are mit northeastern harvard umass and bu and uh, yeah so if you are interested first uh, first you need to make sure you are working under ai skunkworks and once you have actually designed a you decided what project you want to what project you want to work on you need firstly you need to fill fill up uh, fill up the request form here they which basically asks you basic questions about your project basically a uh, an, an overview of what your project is about and uh, how much gpu you might actually need and just basic details 
or you can either I I can actually wait while you actually get uh, access to this QR code and I or I can just uh, type it in the chat or if you have if you have a need for uh, discovery cluster you can always uh, contact me through email or through Teams and once you actually fill this form uh, this goes through what uh, the next step would be I, I the screening process where I would actually go through your request and see make sure that your project actually requires uh, a discovery cluster and um, and make sure that yeah you get the resources you need appropriate amount of resources you need and once your request has been accepted uh, I will hand it over to the professor where, who authorizes uh, access access to you once you actually get the access to the discovery cluster the documentation is uh, Abhishek, uh, can you hit one more no uh, actually actually go back sorry uh, yeah once you actually have access to the discovery cluster uh, you can actually google uh, discovery cluster at northeastern the link was supposed to show sorry about that guys uh, yeah uh, thank you Sunia. So yeah, you have uh, you can get further documentation on how to use our uh, discovery cluster to responsibly utilize these GPUs because they are pretty expensive. And the fact that we are getting free doesn't mean we need to uh, take advantage of it by actually wasting these kind of resources. Because uh, people who work in deep learning they know how hard the uh, GPUs are hard like uh, are to come by, especially since the increase in demand of silicon chips like there's a there's a very low supply of these gpus so the fact that we're getting access to them is something that we need to appreciate so once you actually have uh manage once you actually manage manage to get uh, access to this documentation is on the website and we we might uh there there's already uh, already a video tutorial on how to use this next slide Yeah. Uh, over to Great. Uh, thanks, Prajwal. So uh, apart from these things, our discovery is a great platform. So a lot of students, even myself, like I did not know about discovery uh, for probably, I think, one and a half years. So uh, Northeastern, as, as Prajwal mentioned, uh, uh, we do have free access to GPUs. A lot of us do not know about that. Uh, but yes, Kunkus can get you access to that if you're interested and if you actually need that, uh, depending on your requirement. Uh, apart from that, uh, throughout the semester, we will also be having workshops and speaker sessions. So uh, right now, the plan is that, uh, uh, as, as we've been mentioning, that uh, for the fall semester, we've collaborated with Red Hat. So we are going to have people from Red Hat uh, uh, host a hands-on workshop on uh, Kubernetes containers and OpenShift, uh, which is going to start uh, by the end of this month. So the first, uh, so the first, uh, I think, meeting for that is somewhere around 20 seconds. So uh, you'll get all these details, whatever I'm talking about, but you have to make sure that you are registered so that whenever something happens, I can send out the email and you receive uh, the emails. Only the members receive those emails. So that's why I'm just repeatedly focusing that please register on Engage if you want to get all these details. Uh, apart from Red Hat, we are also going to have a hands-on uh, uh, workshop on NLP. Uh, which is going to be hosted uh, by one of the skunks, uh, probably sometime in uh, October. So if you're interested in learning more about NLP and, and all these things, whatever we are talking about, we're going to start from scratch. So uh, we do not expect you to have uh, uh, prior any prior knowledge in the particular thing. So for example, for NLP, we'll be starting from the basics, give, uh, give you a hands-on uh, workshop starting from the basic core concepts. Uh, so even, you know, if you think that you just want to learn about it, if you're just exploring, I think it's a, it's a, a, a great place to start. Uh, apart from that, uh, another uh, thing that we do is, so uh, we, as, 
as you might have been uh, hearing that you know we have a certain number of research groups we have discovery we are hosting a, a number of hands on workshops but there might be some things that uh, we might not be able to cover and some things that might interest you so uh, for that we have another process that that you know if you're interested in pursuing that uh, feel free to you know uh, reach out to me or any of the uh, skunks team members so if you're interested in working on a project say uh, you know reinforcement learning or any uh, separate project that we are not covering there is a template on our github that you can fill out and share your interest that you know you want to work on this particular project uh, with ai skunk works and what we can do is if if your project gets approved by our team and professor nick also approves it then we might be able to help you with getting the the access to gpus if that's required we might be able to help you in collaborating with other people maybe it could be you know uh, uh, students who have done something related to that to kind of mentor you guide you and of course professor nick will uh, if he approves then of course he'll he'll always be there to help you throughout that process uh, of going through the project so this is another thing that that that's open to everyone so if you think that you know uh, you want to pursue something apart from what we are doing uh, with skunk works then there is a template on our github which you can fill out and share with us now let's uh, deep dive into the research groups that are uh, going to uh, uh, th that we are hosting for for the fall semester so the first research group let's let's start by deep diving into ml ops so uh, this is the uh, this is the first time we are starting a research group on ml ops so professor nick uh, as he mentioned in the first 5 minutes of of this meeting that he'll be uh, uh, he'll be uh, sharing about the cle project that he's working on and he wants all the students who are uh, already who have already registered or whoever is interested in ml ops to work on that cle project so uh, the start date is 16th of september for this particular group which is tomorrow so tomorrow is the first meeting for ml ops group uh, there is a registration link it's also there in the uh, uh, chat box so if you're interested register there and professor nick uh, is heading this research group so he'll be mentoring you directly uh, on on like you know uh, uh, the projects and all the research work that that's going uh, to happen within this research group so uh, what is ml ops so um, ML ops is a combination of machine learning and devops so uh, within machine learning life cycle there are a lot of experiments that you have to do uh, a lot of tests that we have you have to do a lot of validation you have to do before you put it in a production environment so uh, a lot of data scientists uh, uh, are not very uh, good with uh, deploying models so right now there is a new requirement of a new and, and a new position that is evolving it's it's actually a new position as well uh, uh, which requires a data scientist to know how to deploy their uh, model from a development environment to a production environment and this is what ml ops is so uh, you build your uh, uh, data science pipeline in your testing environment and then you work on tools like you know containerizing it and then uh, putting it in a production action cycle which involves complexities like you know how what infrastructure do you have to use how to use kubernetes containers and which framework to use that could involve metaflow airflow and all these multiple tools that are currently used within the industry so that's like a whole new world and how uh, at least you know the industry is seeing it is like you know uh, ml ops is the bigger picture and data science pipeline that we build in the testing phase is just a very small part of this whole ml ops life cycle so uh, it involves the complexities the the difficulties that you're facing in in kind of uh, uh, building your model in the test environment plus all the complexities that you know the uh, devops people face in kind of deploying uh, your model in the production environment so it's it's more of like a combination of both of these so uh, professor uh, will be uh, working on a cle project uh, so it's it's more focused towards a project where uh, uh, the students will be working on uh, multiple nodes so 
a data science pipeline has some components like you know we, we call it nodes so uh, data cleaning is like one node feature selection is one node modeling is one node uh, model interpretability and error analysis can be one of the nodes and then visualization is a separate node so uh, there are multiple libraries that you can use for data cleaning feature selection modeling but what we want to do is we uh, after every step we want to uh, uh, produce a result which shows how confident are you with the results so for example you know scikit learn has their own data uh, selection data engineering uh, uh, methods that that they uh, promote then there's the new libraries like shap blah 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 so there are thousands of libraries which are already existing now how do you choose which one is fit for your particular use case your particular environment and your particular problem so what we want to do is we want to build these nodes uh, uh, which can help a data scientist in kind of repeating the same process again and again within a jupyter a notebook and all you have to do is you know could be as simple as you know we we provide a, a front end to that where you what you have to do is just upload your data set and then you can see the statistics like mean median mode the distribution of the data the log uh, distribution and you know uh, different kinds of uh, statistical analysis on your particular data and then that can help you in kind of you know uh, choosing which direction you want to go through so uh, within this mlops project the students will be working on this cli project which involves working on these small nodes and all these small nodes should have a output with a log evidence of how well your uh, uh, library or your particular function that you used worked so that a, a data scientist can kind of make a better and a informative decision whether to go ahead with this particular thing or not uh going so this was about mlops if you're interested the first meeting is uh, tomorrow uh, registration link is in the chat box so uh, do register if you're interested now let's move to the uh, cloud computing research group which is in collaboration with red hat so uh, over to you abhishek and sebeka yep thank you abhishek uh, abhishek can you change the slide i think it's still pointing to own ideas uh this one Uh, I can still see the previous. Yeah, you can see old slide. Yeah, can you reshare wait. once? Ah, uh, wait. Just give me a minute. Shit, I am having some problem with my Zoom. I guess. So just hold on a minute, or uh, Sebeka and Abhishek, you can uh, start talking about uh, the research group. I'll I'll just try to fix the issue. Yeah, sure. So, uh, hello everyone. Um, moving on to the next research group, which is cloud computing, uh, which is in collaboration with Red Hat. So, I think everyone would have come across the term, which is cloud computing or cloud somewhere or the other whenever you go through any technology or any job descriptions. So, uh, and I think we are utilizing it heavily, regularly. Um, the best example would be the storage services such as Google Drive, OneDrive, and all other online cloud suits that are available so uh, just to give uh, anyone uh, just a, in a simple terms i would say it is just a technology that utilizes internet uh, for storing and managing data on the remote servers and then accessing it via the internet so uh, this has become a delivery system of computing services and it has reduced all our hassle that is there for huge computing systems servers actually buying those transporting it so that's where the cloud has come into picture and it has been there since quite long i think the most uh, common field of cloud that we were aware about previously was devops but now it has started uh, getting into the field such as data ops ml ops even we have security operations which is most prominently called as secops so it has become a vital part of our industry and it's in huge demand in the market and even the need for trained and certified cloud practitioner are increasing rapidly so this semester ai sunk works in collaboration with red hat have come across a, a research group and providing a platform for students where we'll be going through the activities of cloud computing uh, and also having certain uh, courses and certification support for the students who are interested to expand into this field 
So um, this is more about cloud computing. Now I'll be moving on how Red Hat is coming into picture. What is Red Hat and what are we going to do for this semester? So as we all know, Red Hat is primarily the world's leading provider of open source solutions. Uh, they have, uh, they are delivering a high performing Linux operating system, cloud containers and Kubernetes technologies. They also have products which are ranging from cloud, you can go to infrastructure, which is most uh, prominently called as IaaS, uh, application development and automation. So who, uh, me and Abhishek, we are working as Red Hat ambassadors for Northeastern University, where we intend to promote and encourage students to advance in the field uh, and support their cloud journey. So a uh, brief about myself, I am Sebaka Kandelwal and I'm a Red Hat ambassador for this semester. And I'm doing my master's in information systems with my focus more towards AI technology. Over to you, Abhishek. Yeah, uh, so Abhishek, should I share my screen or are you sharing? Uh, yes, uh, please go ahead. I'm having some trouble, so. Oh, it's fine. Share share uh, so is it visible? Yeah, it's visible. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, it's visible, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm Abhishek Sadbhai. I'm Red Hat Ambassador for Northeastern University and I'm doing my master's in information system. So this is just brief about me and Sibaka. Yeah, I think now we can move on to the plan for this yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, what are we planning for this semester, like 2021? We have different activities planned. The first one is free courses for uh, students for Red Hat. So basically uh, Red Hat offers courses such as containers, courses on containers, Kubernetes and Docker, and also OpenShift. So these courses, student can register for free uh, with the help of Red Hat. And we can, you know, if you register to on this platform, we can enroll you for the courses you need. Also, we would be conducting live sessions by Red Hat experts. So these sessions, you don't need to have any prior experience. It is just, you know, you can just have basic knowledge or nothing, no knowledge is required basically. And this uh, live lectures from Red Hat will be a speaker series and we would, also ask you that if you want to conduct some of the sessions, for example, anyone wants to, uh, no, anyone wants us to conduct session on containers, we can do that. The third one is cloud community. So we are planning to build a cloud community at Northeastern where people can share their knowledge with each other and you know uh, leverage each other's skills. Uh, the fourth one is technical article, technical article writing. So basically, we will encourage you and promote you for technical articles. So you will write articles and you can also publish them on Medium, like platforms like Medium. Uh, after that, we are focusing on research paper reading. If you are interested to us research, so every week we are planning to uh, give you a research paper and we can give you some time like two weeks to go through the research paper and come up, come up with the doubts and there will be sharing of research paper via study groups. And the last one is cloud certifications. So uh, as the cloud demand for the cloud is increasing, we can also support you for cloud certifications, which Red Hat offers and also other certifications if you plan to you know, complete the uh, cloud certifications. So this is our entire plan for fall semester 2021. So, so I'll just brief again. So free courses, live sessions, cloud community, article writing, research papers. Okay, so now you know what is Red Hat. Now you know what is cloud computing and what we are doing. So how can you connect with us? So basically, you, in order to connect to us, you can uh, use the following link, which is sent in the chat box to register under cloud computing group uh, with Red Hat. And also you can scan the QR code over here. So you, uh, to, in order to get registered with us. If you have any queries, you can always contact us. So you can contact me or Sibaka. You can always ping us on Teams or email us using our email IDs, which are mentioned. Yeah, so, so handing over to Explainable AI. Yeah, Sibaka, if you want, you can just add on a few things. Uh, also, if anyone is looking out for any ideas around the cloud or any learning, so feel free to reach out on that particular topic also. We'll be more than happy to incorporate it in the plan. Yep. Thank you, Abhishek. Uh, all right. So take over from here. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm uh, Pramod, uh, studying Master's in Information Systems. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, so I would like to take us through uh, what uh, the Explainable AI group is about. So before that, uh, I and Shristi will be the coordinators for uh, this semester. Uh, so uh, before uh, speaking about the group, uh, I would like to build a bit about the motivation for Explainable AI. So what is Explainable AI? It is a 
basically a set of methods that you would use on your uh, machine learning model to better comprehend, uh, understand, or trust uh, the outputs that are created by these uh, ML algorithms. Uh, so for example, let's say you built a model. So you can you have a choice of uh, method A, B, or C that you can apply uh, on your model to better understand the decision-making process behind it. Uh, so you might ask why you would want to do something like that. Uh, so let's say you are an organization that has uh, deployed a bunch of AI systems. Uh, and uh, it is very important for these systems to be uh, very accountable. And uh, also, you can't just trust them uh, blindly, right? So uh, I'd like to demonstrate with uh, this with an example uh, in the next slide. Uh, if you could just move to the next slide. Right, so uh, let's say you wanted to build a classifier that tells apart or classifies between a husky and a wolf. And you go out and get your data and you've built the classifier and uh, you test it out and it's great. You're getting uh, like, let's say 90% accuracy and you decide to deploy the model. Uh, this is one scenario. Consider an alternative scenario where you go a step further and apply one of the explainable AI techniques on your model. Uh, and that showed you that every time your model made a prediction as a wolf, it was because there was snow in the background or rather the snow is the biggest indicator for your model to make a prediction as a wolf. So um, if uh, a mistake like this is made in a low stakes environment, maybe something like your assignment relatively, maybe it's fine, but uh, in high stakes environment, let's say you have a model that is going to predict whether somebody has a very bad disease or not. So in situations like that, it can prove to be really costly. So I hope that this example sort of, uh, you know, gives you a sense of why you would want something like this explainable AI techniques. Uh, if you could move to the next slide. Right, so uh, briefly our goal will be Did we lose him? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can carry on with this. So yep. uh, can we move to the next slide? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So hi everyone, I'm Shristi. Uh, and I'll just walk you through the, uh, part, uh, the process or uh, the a goal that we are trying to achieve here uh, as a group. So uh, we are uh, considering that uh, we'll be building a, like, uh, as a prerequisite, we'll be ex expecting that uh, uh, you, you should know how to build a model and then uh, how to optimize it and how feature selection works and et cetera. So based on that, we are, we'll be building an explain, explainability model, which will be, uh, you know, like uh, Pr uh, Pramod mentioned that the model should be, uh, will uh, easily explain or will be able to tell you that okay why the decision was made and on what basis was it made so we'll be going through some of the techniques that can help us like sharp and line so i know this word might be a bit overwhelming but it's actually a, a very interesting topic to learn uh, even i felt the same initially but it's so interesting that uh, there is uh, there are medium articles that i i could uh, come up with uh, based on these uh, research and study. So uh, moving along, we'll be also targeting to create a pipeline, like a data engineering pipeline wherein you are, you know, actually taking the data, you're processing it, you're uh, uh, interpreting it. And also at the same time, you're uh, checking out, uh, you know, what were the important features of the model and how it helped you and do you do you, I mean uh, it will also help you understand if you have to tweak the model or you have to make any changes to make it more uh, robust and uh, you know trustworthy. So uh, these are the uh, you know mo motives and uh, goals that we are looking forward to. And at the end of the uh, you know uh, this term, we are uh, 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 you know planning to come up with the. Uh, uh, different medium articles and this uh, group might add, uh, you know, value to your uh, resume because uh, at the end of the day, it is uh, the more you experience, uh, I mean, um, you know, research and come up with ideas is what matters. 
so it will also help you get you know uh, contacts we'll help you build your resume like uh, what kind of uh, uh, you know different features you can show in your resume and etc so yeah we can uh, there is a huge scope there can we uh, move to next slide please so uh, we uh, so as uh, pramod mentioned pramod and i will be the research coordinator for the uh, group and i joined a little bit about myself so i joined in spring 2020 in uh, is and currently i am on on my co-op so my next semester would be my last so right now uh, uh like even though the co-op is going on i'm still interested in you know contributing to the group because uh you know it it's uh, you should always be in touch of the uh, field that you are interested in and be updated to with it so i uh, highly feel that you know everyone should uh, join the groups and you know experience and get uh, increase your network and uh, share the knowledge so uh, next slide please so we'll be uh, meeting every uh, wednesday by weekly and it will be 6:30 to 7:30 because uh, uh, pramod and i we both are on our co-ops so we 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 are mostly free after 6 so we uh, scheduled it in uh, this way it is bit late but uh, please uh, bear with us uh, and if you have any queries or concerns please re reach out to us on teams uh, and uh, yeah thank you uh, pramod if you're back uh, you can uh, share if you want any yeah i'm not sure where i dropped off <laughs> uh, yeah Rick, i know she covered so... up but yeah she she covered okay. up so uh... all right now we can talk more once the meeting starts it's all right right and explainable another thing explainable is one of the oldest uh, research groups <laughs> has been running <laughs> guys please uh, mute yourself if you're not speaking so uh uh explainable is one of the uh, oldest research groups so uh, i think one of the prereq for this particular group is that you know you should be knowing how to build models and uh, i think it's it's really interesting so if you're interested reach out to srishti and pramod uh over to you nirame so yeah uh, hi guys so i'm nirame kelkar so i will be the research uh, coordinator come head uh, for uh, the kagal group uh, so uh, the people who are interested in the you know data science and machine learning uh, feed they they really know i mean it's the biggest online i mean community for you know uh, uh, competitive data science and uh, you know uh, they have host a lot of competitions they have discussions they where you know you can build a lot of your profile uh, based on your interest in the field of data science and machine learning like there are a lot of other fields like they specifically focus on like be it nlp be it computer vision be it uh, like even basic machine learning like regression techniques and all it's like like all the domains that are there they are covered and uh, it's like uh, it really helps you know you know build your profile when you are uh, wanting to uh, progress in the field of data science so uh, it really helps you know if you have something uh to build on top of it so th this group like uh, we we really don't need any you know previous experience or previous uh uh what you can say knowledge for that like if if you are just interested you know if if uh, even if you are just starting in the field that is a good start like uh, it's like you know you can just start by the scratch like just start from like basic building a more notebook be it like a uh, building a data set like whatever it is like whatever it is that you are interested in it is like uh just make sure uh you are interested and you put in effort for the same like so uh, it it is going to be uh, we will be there guiding you throughout the you know the competitions that are happening we will be there you know making the groups who are like interested in the certain competitions we have done that in the past we will do it ahead as well then we meet you know the people who are just starting up we can help you you know guide you and mentor you for uh, building notebooks or data sets as well so there are discussion forums of uh, as well you know where people like from the whole community they discuss about certain topics or certain competitions or certain new things that are coming up so just look out for the things that are happening on the kaggle and we'll be there you know hosting the meeting where we will discuss all these things uh, we will take your ideas if you are interested in certain things we will note all of them and you know dedicate our time to you know finding the things that uh, are relevant for you so it is not there that we'll be there uh, you know teaching you all the these things but we'll be there mentoring you uh, uh if you are stuck 
so we can just guide you through the process you know if you are suppose interested in participating in a competition we can help you you know just guide you through it okay these are the things if you need help in finding the teammates we can help you with that then you know we can help you connect get the uh, with professor he can give you guidance on the same like suppose if we for the last summer summer semester we did it like we had a separate uh, meeting for the competition discussions where a uh, professor was the one who i mean professor would be there uh, who will be guiding you throughout your competition so it just really helps you know the s- certain competitions have certain like big prize money like 100000 dollars and something like that and certain companies like uh, host their own competitions to for the hiring purposes as well so it's just like overall uh, profile building for you in the field of data science uh, if you are interested uh, and yeah can you go more to the next slide so yeah here is the team so uh, hi i'm niramay uh, i am currently uh, pursuing my masters in information systems so i came here in spring 20 and joined skunk works in uh, around spring 21 and i have been a part of it since then and then uh, i am currently on a co-op right now so uh, uh, I, I alongside uh, my work i just dedicate some time to you know uh, uh, help collaborate i mean help schedule these meetings and collaborate with people to you know make them meet their needs and all so and there is uh, Yashart as well. So Yashart, you can just briefly introduce yourself if you are there on the call. So yeah, uh, so I am I've joined Northeastern in spring 2021. Uh, I started my course and I've joined uh, Skunk Works in summers like from May onwards. So it's been great journey for for very Skunk Works. So yeah, I've learned a lot through NLP projects in the summers I've worked and professors also helped me a lot along with Nirma and other guys. So it's been a great journey. Skunks. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Yashad. And we also have uh, we, we yeah, like Abhishek mentioned we collaborated uh, with uh, EM Leon since spring of uh, 21, and then we are like continuing the collaboration until now as well. So Anna here is a part of the Skunk Works community since uh, spring 21, and she is there, you know, actively participating, taking part in competitions, and you know. Making like building herself, prof, uh, building herself uh, in the field, and then like she she really is interested in all of these things. So Anna, if you are uh, there in the call, just briefly yes, introduce. sure, I'm here. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm uh, yeah I'm studying at uh, UM Lyon Business School in Paris. So in case anyone's interested in uh, what's going on in Europe and our <laughs> research centers, um, let me know. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to join this uh, this project and work all together with you and uh, make you get familiar with Kaggle and make you all find uh, your perfect projects to work on and to to deep dive in your research. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anna. Uh, can you move to the next slide? So yeah, so about the meeting. So we will be having uh, we'll be hosting it every Monday uh, from eleven to twelve in the morning. Uh, and professor will be there in every meeting. Me, Anna, and uh, Yashad will also be there in every meeting. So we'll be conducting the uh, general meeting as well for the next week. We'll be sending out all the invites and stuff uh, to you. And if you are still, I mean, left to register, just uh, follow this barcode or you know, reach out to me or Yashad or Anna, uh, anybody, uh, and then you know, we can just you know guide you through the same or you know, reach out to anybody from the Skunk Works uh, team. Just uh, feel free to uh, like, don't be shy and reach out. Uh, we'll be there, uh, you know, it will be a weekly meeting, uh, like every Monday we'll be having the things. We'll be sharing the plan and all the details regarding in much depth uh, next Monday when we'll be, you know, sh- uh, we'll be sharing out all the invites soon uh, by this week. So just uh, stay tuned and just look out for the email uh, and join uh, on Monday. So, you know, we, we can talk more about it in detail uh, on the Monday meeting. So again, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Nirame. Uh, adding on to that, so uh, another great thing about uh, Kaggle is that, uh, you know, if you have no prior experience and uh, there are always people, so uh, not just for Kaggle, like for every research group, every now and then, we try to bring in people who are working on topics like explainable AI, who are, you know, uh, probably Kaggle masters or grandmasters, uh, uh, to our weekly meetings so that they can kind of help you and guide you through their own journey and kind of inspire you to to kind of collaborate and work towards that direction. So uh, uh, Charlie is one of the guy who who uh, uh, 
every now and then he he attends the kaggle meeting he has also collaborated with a few students uh, including myself uh, uh, so it's it's a great journey if you're kind of looking forward to exploring more towards any of the research topics that we've mentioned uh, so i think by now you uh, all of you should have a pretty decent idea about what research groups uh, we are working on what all projects we are working on what all workshops are going to happen uh, during the fall semester and how do you kind of register for that whom to reach out to if you have questions and what are the steps for that again as you can see on the screen the first and the foremost thing if you want to join any of the uh, uh, previously mentioned thing is that you have to register on engage i'm mentioning it again and again because a lot of you tend to miss out on this very important detail you have to go to engage the link is there we'll we'll share it on the chat box as well uh, so uh, register there go and register there it, the request might take a, a day or two to get approved what that will do is uh, uh, we you will get added to our email thread and our email thread includes all the uh, uh, meeting invites all the registration links and all the details about whatever is happening within the club so uh, thank you so much for attending now uh, i would like to open the floor for questions and answers so uh, if you have any questions so i could see a few questions in the chat box which were can i join mlops and there was like another group possibly so of yes uh, uh, you can join multiple research groups but it is not recommended because in that way you won't be able to focus on any one particular group so what we suggest is that you you start with focusing on one particular group but it is open to to you like you know if you think that you can manage uh, 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 the work in multiple groups it's it's completely okay with us uh, sign up for both groups is it and uh, the meetings uh, so uh, the meetings uh, are not flexible but what we can do is if you probably like you, uh, we know that sometimes it's not possible you know you might have classes you might have some other work and you miss out on the meeting so uh, you can ask the research heads and the research coordinators they might be able to help you out with uh, you know things like kind of getting uh, uh, sharing the recorded meeting with you uh, or uh, you know just give you an update about what happened in the meeting so uh, i don't think that should be a problem I think somebody has the mic on. Ayush, okay, thanks. Are there any other questions? Feel free to write it in the uh, chat box. Uh, beneficial for one, definitely. Uh, uh, Pulkit, you can discuss. Feel free to reach out to me if you're confused. If you're still confused about where to start, but in my sense like if you're just beginning start with kaggle it's a great place to start if you know basics about machine learning and building a model explainable ai is a good place to start uh, a good place to to you know uh, uh, a good research group to join or mlops and cloud computing is kind of a little bit different uh, so if you're interested in kind of getting hands on certifications from red hat you know, learn about kubernetes containers and uh, um, open shift then that's the research group but still feel, feel free to reach out if you are still confused uh skunk works uh so uh, basically uh, what you should do is uh, go to engage and register on the uh, engage for membership it should not take more than a day or two to get that approved but simultaneously you can register uh, on the meeting links so that uh, the research heads have your email id and they can kind of send you the updates Oh uh, yeah, Abhishek. I forgot to mention one more fact. Like, uh, so regarding the discovery cluster access, so students who are uh, interested in joining the Kaggle group already, uh, they you already get access to 
uh, Kaggle kernels, which uh, which have uh, which in fact have GPUs for you. And uh, if you're if you're in the Kaggle group, you you might not need uh, you might not need discovery cluster access. But uh, for anything else, if you are willing to work uh, on a research project on various networks, feel free to contact me. Uh, another question that I see is, are there any applications deployed online that we can check out? So, uh, uh, because we are starting with MLOps and uh, the cloud computing research groups from this semester, there are no applications uh, deployed as of now. Uh, there were a few projects uh, uh, which were in the more of individual projects. So, uh, uh, there are on our website if you want to check them out those were like individual projects uh, of, of students uh, which were deployed but uh, within skunkworks this is the first semester we start where we are starting to kind of uh, uh, talk more about like you know uh, the deployment life cycle of models I'm still beginning my ML journey. Can I still join and learn stuff on the fly? I'm very much interested in explainable AI. Of course, so, uh, if you're interested in explainable AI, I think uh, 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 Pramod and Srishti are great people to kind of talk to. Uh, share your interest, share, you know, uh, that, you know, uh, this much uh, experience is, is what you have. Uh, would I be able to kind of uh, go ahead with this and, and all those things? So feel free to reach out to uh, the specific research heads if you're interested. Uh, so I think they'll better be able to guide you individually. Yeah, and, and yes, uh, uh, sorry, I think I missed this point. So uh, undergraduates can be a part of the club. They can join uh, any research group or projects if they want. There is no restriction on that. Uh, NLP training is going to be open for everyone. It's not restricted to the people, students from the research groups. Uh, we are going to send out the invite for that to all the members. So if you are a member and you know uh, uh, not a part of any of the research group, you will get the invite for the uh, NLP training workshop. So basically you don't need to be a part of group to attend the workshops. Are there any other questions? Uh, okay, uh, if not, uh, thank you everyone for joining the uh, meeting today. I hope this was informative and we could share uh, a little bit, a glimpse of what we're doing for the fall semester. There's a lot more coming during the semester. We're going to do a lot of project work, research work, workshops and seminars and stuff like that. So uh, uh, stay tuned and, and uh, make, sure, make sure that, you know, if anything out of this session interests you, just register on Engage so that you uh, get uh, the uh, invites and the meeting links, registration links and all those details uh, uh, as, as and when they happen. So uh, thank you so much for joining. Hope you all have a great semester going ahead. And feel free to reach out to any of our team members if you have any questions. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. See you. Thank you.
Sneha, can you uh, end the meeting for all? I okay. God knows what trouble. Uh, Stop the recording.